Hi everyone, I have a new pick card reading for you today and um, in here we're gonna find out who is secretly stalking you spying on you on uh, social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, Pinterest maybe, uh, Snapchat or TikTok just apply what resonates based on your situation and based on uh, the social media uh, platforms that you use um, again we're gonna find out here who is secretly spying stalking you on social media you can choose your deck now either deck number one the one in your left uh the purple one or deck number two the white one uh the deck in your right uh the timestamp is in the description box below you can choose now um also youtube provide this um thumbnail timestamp so it would be easier for you to choose between the two decks again deck number one the purple one and deck number two the white one who is secretly spying uh stalking you on social media hi guys if you've chosen deck number one this spread is for you in here we're gonna find out who is secretly stalking spying on you on social media facebook instagram twitter snapchat pinterest tiktok or whatever social media that you use just apply what resonates guys this is a general reading so it won't resonate with each and every one of you but if you want to learn more you can book a private reading with me um all you have to do is follow my instagram account the link to my profile is in the description box below send me a direct message and when i have free time i will book you a private reading also keep in mind guys that in here you can reverse switch in or flip roles and cards are not gender specific again we're gonna find out here who is secretly stalking or uh, spying on you on social media uh, platform or platforms that you use and why do they do that what are the energies involved in the situation that you have with this person let's see Okay, let's take this uh, right one, right pile as your first spread. Deck number one, people. Let's see your cards. You have the six of wands, the knight of wands, the ten of swords, the nine of wands, the seven of cups, and the king of pentacles. Let's look at the zodiac signs. But uh, keep in mind, guys, that this is a general reading. So uh, if the signs do not resonate in your situation, just take the energies of the cards. It's more important. Um, there's a strong fire energies in here. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, maybe they have um, other signs in their charts as well. Water, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, uh Air. Actually, all signs are here. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But um, it's safe to say that for some, if not most of you, um, this person is a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Just apply what resonates, guys. Okay. Um, I feel like this person um, is currently... Um, maybe at your workplace that's possible for some of you where you collaborated um in some sort in a in a project um that involved money but for some of you a fraction of you this could be a person at your workplace okay um this person also is maybe highly attractive they have a lot of um options to choose from but right now it's still unclear why do they stalk you 
on social media. They talk to a lot of people as well. Um, doesn't have to be romantic, but it could be with the Seven of Cups plus the Knight of Wands. But again, this person maybe is at your workplace. And I feel like for some of you, this is a boss or they have um higher position than you. Okay, they hold a higher position or they earn uh, bigger money uh, monthly. Uh, they have a bigger paycheck than you. Okay, um, this person is also healing right now. They are in a character development self-healing process with the Ten of Swords. It's possible that for some of you, you've hurt this person or uh, they did the hurting at some point in the past. Um, just apply what resonates based on the situation that you have. your camera okay that is much better now let's go back to your reading um also this person is an achiever so they have been achieving a lot of great things in life and um yeah you know because of this person's success and uh, their position um their money maybe their finances um they attract a lot of attention so it's safe to say that for some of you um they have captured your attention as well and little do you know that uh, this person is kind of interested uh because they stalk you on social media but this person right now have this um very thick wall or they have this facade and they act like they don't care with the nine of wands they also feel like um you are an interesting individual so it's safe to say that for some of you you've captured this person's attention and um maybe they have a crush on you or they're very interested because they feel like you have an interesting life and uh you have your own successes as well Okay, so maybe they admire you for that. Um, and they feel like you are a highly independent uh, individual. With the King of Pentacles in here. That is possible. Okay, let's look at your second spread, deck number one, people. Um, you have the Three of Pentacles, the Moon card, the Eight of Cups, the Fool card, the Ace of Cups, and the Four of Swords. Yeah, this could be a person at your workplace. Or again, at some point in the past, you've collaborated with this person in a project that involved money with the Three of Pentacles. Um, this person is really trying their best not to get caught. For you not to know how they feel about you. It's safe, to, it's, it's safe to say that right now, as you watch this video, this person has a huge crush on you. Or they're starting to fall in love with you with the Ace of Cups. Guys, the Ace of Cups is the biggest cup in the tarot deck. This is unconditional love. So I feel like this person is maybe um, on the outside. It's kind of creepy because, you know, they stalk you on social media. But they have genuine intentions, okay? Um, maybe they stalk you on social media because they want to know um, your favorites, your hobbies, more things about you, more information about you. Because maybe um, they're very much interested. Um... This person is um, is a kid at heart. Okay, with the full card, maybe they, they own a dog. Um, yeah, they own a dog. Um, they love dogs or they love animals in general. With the moon card and the full card, this person is um, easygoing. They're easygoing. They love their life. They live their life to the fullest. Very single, very bachelor, very bachelorette. Um, just a planet resonates. This person in the past or just recently, you know, in general in the past, uh, this person may have broken up with someone else. Uh, they left a connection, a soulmate type connection. But of course, deck number, number one people, we have two types of soulmates. One is permanent, the other one is temporary. The permanent one would stay by our side until we die or until they die. The other one is temporary. Uh, they would enter our life only to teach us a lesson. And once we've learned that lesson, they're gonna leave and walk away. In this case, in this person's case, I feel like they've dealt with a temporary soulmate. And they've learned a lot of lessons with that, with the Eight of Cups. They've collected Eight of Cups, but, you know, instead of staying, they've decided to leave 
and walk away they're moving toward another two of cups okay uh with the four of swords they don't want to commit the same mistakes again they're trying to avoid uh further conflicts with other people they don't want to um have and experience the same negative energies that they did experience at some point in the past um courtesy of this person as a, a person whom they had a committed relationship or they dated at some point in the past so i feel like this person is really in a self-healing process yeah with the ten of swords and the eight of cups this person is still healing from the ones of the past very very interesting mix of energies okay i'm gonna put all these cards back in the deck deck number one people and close this off with advice cards uh which may help you deal with this situation the person who is secretly stalking with you right now again these are for the people who have chosen deck number one the purple one this could also be helpful uh for other aspects in your life uh in general deck number one people let's see uh let's look at the advice um advice cards from the universe Okay, um, you have the Seven of Wands, the Queen of Swords, and the Four of Swords from the universe. I feel like the universe wants you to protect your peace, protect your space with the Seven of Wands. Also, protect your name from other people. Maybe some people are spreading lies about you. You have to investigate with the Queen of Swords. You have to find out. Talk on your own. Do your research. Okay? I feel like this is the warning from the universe that someone um, out there has been spreading lies, misinformation, um, negative info, information about you. You have to be very careful uh, with what you post on social media, with um, uh, information that you share with other people because at the end of the day, you only have yourself to trust. Okay? Don't be too easy to trust other people. Again, protect your peace, protect your space, protect your circle with the Seven of Wands and with the Queen of Swords. Um, gain that mental clarity that you need in order for you to protect yourself um, and uh, effectively um, you know, uh, block all these negative energies coming from other people. Um, also, avoid conflicts, confrontations, miscommunications with other people with the four of swords this is again an energy of protecting your peace the universe wants you to uh protect your space and uh, focus on yourself practice self-care practice self-love um avoid arguments with other people um at all cost okay i really hope that helped and um resonated deck number one people be sure to hit that like button comment or share the video and um, if you like how we read cards and you're new here, be sure to subscribe. You can also book a private reading with me. All you have to do is follow my Instagram account. The link to my profile is in the description box below. Send me a direct message and when I have free time, I will book you a private reading. Good luck, deck number one people. Trust the process. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye. Hi guys, if you've chosen deck number two or the white uh, deck, this spread is for you. In here, we're going to find out who is secretly stalking, spying on you on social media. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, <laughs> TikTok, Snapchat, I don't know. You know, just apply what resonates based on um, the social media that you use right now as you watch this video. Keep in mind, guys, that this is a chill reading, so it won't resonate with each and every one of you. But if you want to learn more, you can book a private reading with me. All you have to do is follow my Instagram account. The link to my profile is in the description box below. Send me a direct message. And when I have free time, I will book you a private reading. 
Also keep in mind guys that in here you can reverse switch and or flip rolls and cards are not gender specific. Again, we're gonna find out here who is secretly stalking, spying on you on social media and the reasons why they're doing that, okay? And all the energies involved in the situation that you have with this person. Okay, let's take this left pile as your first spread deck number two people. Um, again, we're going to find out here who is stalking you secretly on social media. You have the Judgment, the Knight of Cups, the King of Cups, the World card, the Empress card, and the King of Wands. Let's look at the Zodiac signs. Um, there's a strong water energy in here, specifically Cancer. Um... Scorpio maybe Pisces maybe um but again strong water energies in here maybe they have um Libra in their chart maybe uh Leo that's possible Leo Aries maybe I don't know just a flower that resonates if the zodiac signs do not resonate guys take and the focus on the energies of the cards is more important because this is a gel reading it won't resonate with each and every one of you so where do i begin this person is in a faraway place with the world card um they are living in a faraway place uh there's physical distance involved in here uh if not this could be a person who is whom you met during the pandemic okay uh, because it's a world problem, it's a pandemic, the world card. Um, you met them in the middle of the virus that shall not be named. So the virus has something to do with how you met this person with the world card. And I feel like, <laughs> with the judgment in here, I feel like other people know about this person stalking you on social media, if that makes sense. So maybe it's possible that um, this connection, the connection that you have with this person is very much publicized or other people are aware of this connection that you have with this person. It's also possible that this person have talked about you other people their friends their platonic connections their family connections their circles just apply what resonates okay um you know this person is stalking you on social media because they are very much attracted to your kindness to your generosity to your compassion does the softness of your well-being to the softness of your soul with this with the empress card they feel like you are um an individual who is vibrating on the high frequency okay so it's possible that this person is uh wanting to date you because you or they have the knight of cups in here as well this mer this person is marching towards your way because this is a knight that holds a cup and a cup is offering of love so this it's possible that right now this person is talking you on social media not because they're trying to be creepy or whatever they, but uh they're trying to be they're trying to know more information about you okay they want to know your favorite food they want to know your favorite band they want to know your likes your dislikes all the people connected uh, with you the contacts that you have Here's the thing though, um, this person uh, uh, talks to a lot of people right now, um, doesn't have to be romantic but it could be, it could be flings, you know, uh, they talk to someone else, they talk to other people, uh, they also flirt with other people, it's possible for some of you with the king of wands because this person is attractive okay, this person has been attracting a lot of attention, a lot of people message them so maybe this person is trying to be courteous or maybe they're just trying to be nice so they respond or for others of you a fraction of you this person is just you know talking to others as well because they're not limiting themselves to um a specific connection but again they stalk you on social media because they're highly interested it's possible they, they, that they talk to you right now and they talk to you as well okay um, let's look at your second spread deck number two people you have the nine of cups the full card 
the nine of swords the four of wands the two of wands and the knight of swords this person really stalks you hard with the knight of swords um and you know it's very interesting but because um apart from your profiles uh they also stalk the people uh who are connected with you for instance uh someone commented on your facebook post or your your, your instagram picture they also stalk the person who commented the profile of that person who commented on your facebook or instagram post okay they're trying to investigate they want to know something maybe they want to know if you're dating someone else right now or you're interested in some uh in someone else okay um they think about you a lot with the nine of swords before they go to bed before they go to sleep they think about you they fantasize you they fantasize about you okay and you know uh you know what's next because i feel like this person is really attracted to you sexually spiritually emotionally i don't know just a plow it resonates it's safe to say that they are sexually attracted to you with the full card plus the nine of swords this person stalks you and uh before they go to bed you know um they think about you and do some things <laughs> I'm not even kidding guys that's uh, that's how I see the cards and that's how I feel it um, they have a plan right now on how to have a deeper connection with you so it's safe to say that they stalk you right now because they want to find out more information about you so like for instance maybe they want to know your favorite food and when they ask you for a date they're gonna bring you there so if for instance maybe you love donuts they're gonna bring you to donut a donut shop okay with the two of wands this is more about planning and um right now this person is focused on achieving greater things um i feel like they are still not ready to to have a committed relationship so maybe they talk to other people or someone else right now they're not um they're not limiting uh their connection to a specific one a specific person because they are um with the full card plus the four of wands i feel like this person is really just enjoying their life right right now because they they know they know they're self-aware that they are still not ready to have a committed relationship but uh in your case i feel like they are very much interested and they think about you a lot and with the nine of cups in here this is like a confirmation from the universe that um you have this qualities that they've been looking for in months years now who knows just a plow it resonates it's possible that they, that for a fraction of you uh this person who stalks you right now they see you as someone who is a wish fulfillment a girlfriend material a boyfriend material a wife material a husband material just a plow what resonates because the nine of cups is wolf, wish fulfillment um in the realm of love okay but again um uh, i'll say it again this person is still not ready to have a committed relationship they're still enjoying their life right now um they talk they talk to a lot of people platonic romantic i don't know just a plow what resonates but they have a plan on how to have a deeper bond with you with the two of wands and again they think about you a lot before they go to bed with the nine of swords okay let's put all these cards back in the deck guys and close this off close your reading with advice cards again these are for the people who have chosen deck number two let's see all the messages from the universe that might help you with the situation that you have with this person who stalks you on social media this could also be helpful for other aspects in your life um let's see um, all the uh, all the messages from the universe Okay, you have the hermit card the queen of wands and the knight of swords um with the hermit card i feel like the universe wants you to practice peace 
and silence. Because you know, guys, uh, deck number two people, um, when you practice silence, you're gonna hear more. Did you get that? When you're in silence and isolate yourself from the noise of the world, you're gonna hear everything. You're gonna hear more. Even those things that you don't want to hear, you're gonna find them out. You're gonna you're gonna know the truth, you're gonna have mental clarity, you're gonna learn a lot with the hermit card. Practice the hermit card, absorb the hermit card, isolate yourself, practice um this energy of uh, being an introvert stay is uh have those silence uh practice silence and uh, you're gonna you're gonna hear more you're gonna absorb more energies which would be beneficial and helpful in your part um continuously practice and uh, follow your goals and your dreams and um you know, uh, keep the fire burning. This could be um, about the things that you love. Doing the things that you love uh, doesn't have to be your job. This could be your side hustle, you know, that make you money. Um, um, and all your hobbies, maybe this is singing, dancing, playing uh, piano or playing the guitar just a plot resonates writing a book writing a novel short stories just a plot resonates do what makes you happy and you know at the end of the day when you do the things that make you happy it makes you 10 times more attractive with the knight of swords continuously explore life and build a social media network i don't know why the universe wants you to have that social media network but maybe it will be helpful along the way uh, on your part this could be helpful in your career in your finances in your side hustles just apply what resonates i really hope that helped and uh, resonated deck number to people be sure to hit that like button comment or share the video and um if you like how i read cards and you're new here be sure to subscribe you can also book a private reading with me all you have to do is follow my instagram account the link to my profile is in the description box below send me a direct message and when i have free time i will book you a private reading um good luck deck number to people trust the process thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!